legacy software so legacy means something which is given to you by your elders legacy or which is coming or which is there with you for long long time because software has an age there are older programs so these legacy programs legacy softwares are basically older programs and let us give us uh, give a date we are talking about those softwares that were built after 1960s so they are continuously being used we are quite concerned over them because we need them so this is a picture i wanted to just show the 10 most critical federal legacy systems which are still being used so there are two observation i tell dyni and fart this uh, these two gentlemen they said that legacy software systems they were developed a long long back decades ago okay but they are solving the business requirements they are continuously being modified because there are different uh, technologies and computing platforms and because of the excess or the proliferation of such system is actually causing some problem because you know maintaining a software to change them is is as good as making a new software so the cost and the effort and the risk it's involved when we are dealing with a legacy software those already being made uh, multiple years ago or many years ago right so this was one observation by uh, dyni and ford about the legacy software now give me let me give you an example windows 7 the support is not there how to work with software which is having which is working on windows 7 made develop so liu said that many legacy system they are so important that they are indispensable that is they are inevitable you cannot uh, change them you cannot uh, say uh, get another software in place of them okay because these legacy software according to liu is characterized by the longevity that the time span how much critical they are for your business for your work for your job for mainly you know you will go to the defense services and some government uh, software which are legacy software mostly but here comes the quality you know if you uh, want to have a a car which is quite old you will have problems we are talking about quality here so why the legacy softwares are considered to have poor quality why it is not working the way it is today it was very good when it was being made so the quality is a problem here because in case of a software the designs are inextensible once it is being made you cannot extend it convoluted code means very very hard code in very difficult to understand the document documentation is either very very less or not there the maintenance job that is the history what was the changes being made it is not there okay but i am not saying that oracle is there google is there they have completed one or two dec decades uh, but still we are using it and they are on the top facebook even you know so there are legacy softwares you can consider them as a legacy software but there are certain software which needs to change because of their poor quality so the question arises why must it change first thing is the life is changing world is changing environment is changing technology is changing so the software need to adapt software need to change according to the new environment that is the new requirements are there and the software needs to be enhanced to fulfill that requirement so the software needs to be changed even the legacy software today software and software must be extended it has to be added with certain say not not interoperable kind of stuff because there are modern systems databases are changing previously it was oracle now we are working on mongodb so the software needs change and the software may be re architectured the framework has to be changed because previously it was single system say now the network environment is there most of the things are uh, working on the or they are available on the network environment so i hope you got the idea why must it change